Now, obviously, there are a lot of different types of shirts. So many. I think it's essential to try out different kinds as you develop your style so that you can figure out what looks best on you and what makes you feel the most confident. For me, one of the most confidence boosting shirts in my whole closet is the denim shirt. What can I say? I just love how they make me feel. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you should start incorporating denim shirts into your wardrobe and how they can majorly boost your confidence. I'm gonna show you a few different ways you can style yourself in them to be looking and feeling great, but before we get to that, let's talk about the different kinds of denim shirts. The first style of denim shirt is Western. These are a take on the original denim shirt. They're what have been worn by American cowboys for the last 100 plus years. They're usually a little bit heavier. They have mother of pearl snap buttons a lot of the time. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of a shoulder detailing. They're very stylish, but also going to last you for life. And the second type of denim shirt is called chambray. These are a little bit more of a modern design. So they're gonna be a take on the classic button front shirt. They're a little bit softer, a little bit lighter, and you can wear them with all kinds of different outfits as I will show you in a little bit. The next thing to consider when you're getting yourself a denim shirt is the wash or the color of the denim. Considering these are absolute wardrobe staples that can last you for years and years. I mean, I've had this one for honestly like 15 years. I would always recommend going with something in a mid wash the way that these two are, or something in a little bit of a darker wash like this. Didn't realize this wasn't hung up. Driving me a little crazy. Now, obviously, as with anything in fashion, there are all kinds of different options, but I would recommend staying away from anything that's too trendy. So if there's a bunch of extra stitching or patchwork or just things, sometimes there's bleaching and different details like that. Anything that likely is going to go out of style in a couple of years, avoid, because the longer you wear these, the longer you own them, they're just gonna break in and get more and more comfortable. Okay, so you know the different types, you know what wash you should be looking for. I'm gonna style six looks overall, three in a Western shirt and three in a chambray shirt, just to give you guys a wide variety and show you how many different ways you can be styling yourself in these. Let's do it. In look one, we're starting with the Western shirt. We're very casual, some brown boots, just to up the masculinity. And then we're mixing it in with some dark denim, cuffed up a little bit. I love denim on denim when you mix the two tones. It's a very easy way to get away with it without looking too, you know, outdoorsy. It's just really rugged and masculine. And if you want, you can tuck it in to clean it up a little bit, kind of a front tuck like that that I did. It's just extremely stylish and it always makes me feel so so confident when i wear an outfit like this and then if it is a little bit cooler you can throw on something rugged like this moto jacket or just some type of outerwear that still allows the denim shirt to show a little bit and you're still getting a little bit of the view of the denim jeans and it matches really nicely with the brown of the jacket and the brown of the boots love this outfit Look two, we're going with the chambray shirt that's a little bit more of a dressy style like I showed you before with some brown wing tips uh, and a brown belt as well to match. This is just to show you that a denim shirt can absolutely be a little bit more on the dressy side as well, styled with some slim fit chino pants. Anytime you're wearing a denim shirt, contrasting it with another earth tone with your pants like this is always really smart. It's easy to get away with denim that way because you're not gonna be wearing a bunch of the same color or a bunch of denim. So you can roll the sleeves up if you wanna be a little bit more casual, but it's just a really nice kind of business casual side of an office look. And then if you want to, you can throw on a blazer over the top of it with no tie and keep things relatively casual, but also still extremely stylish because of the fact that you're kind of matching, but you're still letting a little bit of that denim pop through on the shirt. Look three, we're going with a base layer of a t-shirt and then the Western shirt, some off-white Chuck Taylors, and then some black distressed denim. Big fan of mixing a lighter blue like this in the shirt with black and white, because you're getting the white on the shirt, the white on the shoes, and then the black and the blue mixed together really well just for a classic really stylish masculine outfit that's really nice in the spring and the summertime and then when it does get a little cooler throw a black leather jacket on over the top and i love how you're still seeing just a little bit of the denim shirt it comes through all the way around the outfit 
This kind of throws back to like a 1950s style look that I think is really stylish and cool. In look four, we're gonna dress things up again with this other chambray shirt that I've had forever from Gap that I actually cut the collar off of a few years ago. And as you can see, it's kind of frayed nicely, going with some white greats uh, sneakers, just really easy and simple. Again, very similar to earlier with the chinos, you can do a pair of trousers like this, the bottom half of a suit with a chambray denim shirt tucked in and look really clean and stylish. And if you want to, you can dress it up with the full suit and it's gonna look really excellent because you're keeping things casual with the shirt and the shoes. And I also really love the way that the collarless shirt works together with the blazer like that. It just kind of adds a little bit of a masculine edge, but you're not overdoing it by trying to get too dressy. You're keeping it pretty casual with your shirt and your shoes in combination with the suit. Look five, we're back to the Western style shirt and some other brown lace-up boots, just very outdoorsy and very stylish, but we're going with some white jeans. I wanted to show you this because a lot of people ask me about white jeans because they can find them a little bit intimidating, which I understand, but when you surround it with otherwise very classically masculine pieces, like a denim shirt and some boots, it comes together in a masculine way that's gonna feel a little bit more approachable, but also still look extremely stylish and make you feel so, so good about yourself. And then if you want to, if you're not into the boots, you can go with a sneaker like these. And as you'll see in a second, it starts to create this whole different vibe just by rolling the sleeves up and going with the sneakers versus keeping the sleeves down and going with the boots. Same outfit, two different vibes. Look six, keeping it with the chambray collarless shirt, the off-white Vans Authentic, one of the best summer shoes of all time and some green chino shorts, keeping everything pretty earth toned. Otherwise, it's just, you know, a simple, easy summer outfit. If you wanna roll your sleeves up to be a little bit more casual and comfortable, you can, it's completely up to you. But this is just an outfit you can throw on and do anything in and still look good and be able to dress it up a little bit. So if you end up heading somewhere you didn't expect to, you can tuck your shirt in like this and it's gonna make you look a little bit more put together, a little bit more refined but ultimately you're still extremely comfortable because you've got shorts and a lightweight chambray denim shirt on. But anytime you're wearing that denim, it's just going to look a little bit more masculine, a little bit more put together than if you were just wearing any old t-shirt or whatever. And then obviously if you're not into doing your hair or whatever, you can throw a hat on with it and it just completes the look. It looks really nice. And there you go guys. Now you know everything you need to know to find an amazing denim shirt for yourself. Do not be afraid to invest a little bit of money into something, because like I said, the longer you wear it, the more comfortable it's gonna get. It's gonna shape to your body. It's gonna break in beautifully. It's gonna last a long time, especially a Western style, because they're a little bit heavier, like I said. Hope you enjoyed. Go follow me on Instagram, see all kinds of different ways that I am styling myself in denim shirts and lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, join the notification gang so you never miss when I drop a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.